Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. I have a makeup haul. It's been a long time since I've done a makeup haul. I'm so excited. So this is going to be my Black Friday Cyber Monday haul. Now some of this stuff I did buy outside the range, which by the way, I mean, Black Friday was all of November it seems. So many brands just made their Black Fridays last so long. So we have ColourPop, Sephora, Ulta, Tem2, Colored Rain, Pat McGrath. Now, I'm still waiting on my Terra Moons order. So that took like a month to get to me last year. So I'll do a separate swatch and sip for my Terra Moons. And then my Danessa Myricks, I ordered the multi-chrome liquid pigments and I ordered it two weeks ago. I ordered it directly from the Danessa Myricks website. Still haven't gotten it. Like, haven't even gotten a shipping notification. I don't know what colors I ordered because in my receipt there's no colors so I need to contact them and figure out what the deal is with those because I was really excited for those. But those are the only two things I believe that have not come in yet. Anyways, let's just get into it. <laughs> Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And I don't think I went crazy for Black Friday. I definitely got some stuff, you know? But a lot of this I feel like wasn't Black Friday. Anyways, let's just get into it. I'm gonna start us off with something boring, but I do occasionally get questions about what's in my kit and I use the Temp2 SB airbrush foundation. This is their typical airbrush formula. So I got a lot of colors in the one ounce size. They were having 30% off. So I just refreshed on some of my most used colors. So that's what that is. That's really boring. Um, hopefully if things get back to normal in 2021, I have some brides I can use that on, but I like to take advantage of that sale to just kind of stock up. Then let's see, we'll go by order date because I ordered a lot from Colored Rain before Black Friday. So these I ordered in early November and I've been waiting to film this for you guys. I'm not gonna swatch everything. I'm too busy, you guys. I just don't have the time, I apologize. But I got a lesson to plan. But I'll still show you. So I showed you this in my gift guide, but... <laughs> This is so ridiculous, but I had to get it. I don't even really buy single shadows like that, but this was 50% off. It was $22.50, and it is a giant magnetic palette. So yeah, I don't buy single shadows a ton. I have a few from indie brands, but nothing really to fill this. But now I do so that I can grow my collection because I made a pretty big order off of Terra Moon, one of my favorite single shadows. I plan on hopefully growing my singles collection in 2021. So this is just ridiculous. I got it because it was funny and I don't even know where I'm gonna put this, honestly, but $22.50 and it actually does legitimately hold a ton of shadows. I couldn't help myself, it was pink. So that one was kind of, that was a funny one. Um, now the reason I made my order off of Color Grain, a while ago, Behind the Beauty, which is with Kelsey, Alicia, and Chelsea, they had the owner of Colored Rain on, and I just really loved what she had to say about her brand. She loves her formulas, she loved her brands, so I wanted to place an order, but then I saw they were having a very, very, very good sale. I cannot tell you the prices that I spent because it's been so long, but I got them for a very good discount, and I've never tried Color Rain shadows before. So I got the Juicy Boost shadow palette, and I've never heard of it before. Like, I'd seen it when it first came out, but I didn't watch any reviews, so I picked this up it was like an unbelievably cheap price honestly and then I realized I started hearing people talking about how this was like one of the worst palettes that came out in 2020 so now I'm scared to use this oh shadow just got on my new um rug what a way to start off our relationship it is all over my rug one minuto let me uh try and get this together oh it's breaking in my fingers it's really, really soft and pretty. And it's just making a mess. All my garbage everywhere. What a shame. It's a really pretty color. I don't know what to do. I just got this new rug. A few moments later. R.I.P. Let me just throw this in the trash because 
I always say, oh, I can repress this. I never repress my shadows. I'm too lazy. Well, that was disappointing. That one was a pretty color. Ugh. Anyways, well, I got this palette and then everybody said it was horrible. I haven't used it then. We'll find out. The shadow just broke, so. <laughs> Continuing on though, I've always heard about how great their formulas were except for that Juicy Boost. So I picked up the very, very famous Queen of Hearts palette. This put color green on the map. Everybody talked about how amazing this palette was. Look at her. Such a beautiful color story. So this is kind of a classic. So many people have this palette. I never got to try it. Really excited. I swatched it. It looks stunning. It feels delicious. So I'm excited about this guy. I know a lot of you guys probably have this in your collection already. And then I couldn't help myself. These I think were like under $10 or so something crazy like this. So this is the Beauty Rust palette. I feel like it looked prettier online. I'm not as in love with it now that I have it, but it still is really, really pretty. It's a nice warm palette. And I always say, oh, I prefer cool tones, but I do, I still wear warm tones. Where is this made? Made in the USA, awesome. Oh, okay. One of my ColourPop eyeliners, like I did a look with the new ColourPop Fade Into Hue palettes. I guess we'll get into that. I just filmed this look. So I purchased Black Friday, the ColourPop Fade Into Hue eyeshadow palette. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous rainbow palette. Nobody really needed this, but I was attracted to it. I was like, ooh, color, ooh, glitter. I have to have to have it. And so this is what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. The review should be up by now, maybe. Maybe it's not, I don't know, but really, really pretty. I really like it. Um, oh my gosh, why am I like this today? I need to stop. <laughs> the filming process cannot continue. Bye, have a good one. Uh, okay, so I got this. I like it, watch the review to see how I got this look. Normally I wouldn't create a look with so many colors. I feel like it has to be very distracting for you guys. But I got that and then I also picked up this cream gel liner vault. I love, 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 love this cream gel liner. But some of these came like really dried out I guess or broken and this green one just like fell. And I was wondering where the eyeliner went and I just found it on my table. So I'm just gonna squish this back in here. So warning if you get this, I did have two come like broken and then I had one that was like this. Let me show you. <laughs> I love the colors in this though. And I love the formula, but some of these, <laughs> you see that? Okay, so that was ColourPop. <laughs> Let's do Ulta. I got a lot off of Ulta. So we'll start off with the hair products that I got. A super requested video on my channel is my natural hair routine when I wear it curly. I will do that, that's on my list. It's just not on my top priority list right now and I've been using random hair products but it was buy one get one free for Not Your Mother's at Ulta so I picked up a few different items, a couple to try out, a couple for staples. So we have the Curl Talk shampoo and conditioner. I've used the conditioner before. I think I've used the shampoo before. I don't think these are anything to write home about, but Not Your Mother's is sulfate and paraben free, which is really great for naturally curly hair. So I just feel comfortable with the brand and it's very, very affordable. I highly recommend it if you do have any type of textured hair. And then I also got a couple different curling gels. So I have the defining cream. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite defining cream. It smells so good too. Number one hair product I recommend. It's amazing. And I've never tried this before. This is the Frizz Control Sculpting Gel. I've never used this before. And you guys, this is made in the USA. <laughs> Stimulating my economy. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Now into makeup, into the good stuff. I told you guys that I was going to purchase this. I wasn't bluffing. I did get the ABH Sultry Vault, which, Okay, listen, hear me out, you guys. I love Sultry. The Sultry palette is one of my most used eyeshadow palettes in my makeup kit. And it's now two years old, the one that I've been using in my kit. I don't know how much longer this palette's gonna be around, so I did, I paid $65 just so that I could get this palette, but I wanted a fresh one in my kit, worth every penny. 
so I don't regret it. And what I really love about this vault is you get this really cute glittery drawer set, which I will continue to use and display. I mean, not necessary, but it's nice. And then you get a mascara, a liquid liner, which I love this liquid liner, and then this eye primer, which is also really nice. So while I didn't need anything in here, I did need the sultry. Like I wanted the sultry. It was worth paying extra. And I'm excited about this. I, what is up with ABH though? Uh, what are they doing? Because they haven't launched anything. We haven't heard. I, they they must be going up into the gutter. I don't know. Maybe they're, are they like rebranding? What, what up with them? What's happening? I also picked up the BH Naughty palette. So, so many people in my circle have been raving, raving, raving about this palette. I love BH's formula. I try not to buy everything that they come out with, but I wanted this one, so I got it. I paid full price for this one. It wasn't on sale or anything, but take a look at this. I just heard that the quality was fantastic and I love big palettes. It just looks super duper pretty. Look at this, look at this color. Is this a glitter shade? This does have a glitter shade, but it feels really nice. Yes, 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 yes. I'm really excited about that one. I've been dying to use it and nothing was stopping me from using it. This has been sitting in my haul drawer, so I have to wrap for it. Two more things that I got off of Ulta. I, so many of you guys talk about Juvia's place and you ask me, you know, how shadow formulas compare to Juvia's. And I only have a couple Juvia's palettes. So I wanted to expand. These were like $8 on Ulta. So I picked up a couple. So this is the Topes by Juvia's. And it is stunning. I'm obsessed with this. How gorgeous does this look? Now, I don't... Not particularly moved by the swatches. But I have not yet applied them so we will see we will see but eight dollars though so it was really really good like i feel like when juvia's place has sales they go super duper cheap so this one is the chocolates i just love that name and this is also like mm, this is gonna create a look you guys this i'm really excited for this one let me swatch this chop Ooh. Ooh, 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 this one swatched better. Okay, I kind of overlap swatches here. I'm really excited with my choices on those. Uh, there was a few other color choices. Like, she came out with a lot of those palettes. These little sixers. I should have gotten more. No, I shouldn't have. What am I thinking? No. No. <laughs> this is kind of the last thing that I'm showing you before the thing I'm about to show you. I did use the 25 off a $75 purchase at Sephora, and I just picked up a Tom Ford quad that I'd been wanting. This is Seuss Lesso. <laughs> Oopsies, and I told you guys I was gonna get this in another video, and I'm so happy. It looks a little bit more rosy in person. I'm really excited about this one. So I don't have, you know, all of the Tom Ford palettes, but this is one that I've been eyeing, and you guys know I do still have a lot of Tom Ford palettes. This looks right up my alley as far as every day goes. I feel like when you swatch Tom Ford though, sometimes it's like, really, that was $80? I got another $25 off. And I just thought the 25 off 75 wasn't that great of a deal, but it was a good deal if you literally spent the 75. So to make it worth it, I did buy the Tom Ford quad that I've been eyeing. Okay, so last thing, last thing, last thing in this haul. I'm all over the place, y'all. Why am I like this? I did, I did, I did. I made a big order off Pat McGrath. 12 Zala lips, 12, okay? Her lip stuff is so expensive. And while I do already own a lot of lipsticks and lip glosses from Pat's, I don't own all of them. So I have a beauty channel. Pat McGrath's one of my main brands. You guys always ask for lip color swatches, especially when a sale happens. So I use that as an excuse to buy 17 <laughs> lip colors, okay? So we have a mixture of lipsticks and lip glosses. And then, side note, I also got a new blurring under eye powder in medium because when I got married, this got broken in transit. I'm not gonna go over all of these today. I wanna do like a swatch and sip of all of these. So stay tuned for that, that will be coming soon because I feel like 
clips watching videos, though nobody watches them over time, you know, they're so helpful. So I will do a full separate video on the lip colors because I did get a lot. And that's my Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Random Times haul. Think of me, think hopefully my Danessa Myricks is on its way soon. I mean, I've picked up a couple other things, you know, like I picked up the Fenty cream lips, lip thingies. These, I did a review on those. I picked up, uh, we got some PR. That really is actually all I picked up, but oh, this is fun. I don't know why, but sometimes when I do hauls and I collect the items, I feel like I can't use them until after I haul them. So I can't wait to use these eyeshadow palettes because I've only tried, you guys, two new eyeshadow palettes and it's mid-December. I've tried, which is ridiculous, the Pumpkin Spice because I bought this like three months ago. I've been going ham on this palette. I've used it the last four days in a row and then today I tried this palette for the first time. So, okay, let me stop. I'm I'm in a weird mood today. All right, guys, if you are subscribed to my channel already, I hope you would consider taking the time to do so so that, you know, I can update you on these products. I'm still a little heartbroken about my Juicy Boost moment. Um, keep you updated. And yeah, like this video, subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, have a good one. Hey, hello. Get. Why? Stop. Okay. Sorry, obviously I'm not in the mood. <laughs> uh.